Got a little helper on set today. Right? Aww. Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. Um, so as you can tell by the title, this video is going to be some kind of motivation slash organization tips for these last few weeks of the semester. Still got a little ways to go and I'm losing some motivation and I'm sure pretty much everyone else is too. So I'm basically making this video for myself but also hopefully this helps you guys. Like the things I'm gonna say are like pretty basic and like self-explanatory but you know maybe just watching sometimes just like watching a video of people like saying these things is like yeah I really gotta like get up and like get to work I'm also filming this during spring break so mm, the motivation isn't there but I wrote down all of my secrets because I'm just you know such a knowledgeable person on this topic also my little baby's here to help help tell him about how to stay organized for school He's so cute, oh my god, okay. Also, I just wanted to say I've been getting a lot of like new subscribers recently, so hello and welcome to my channel. Thank you for subscribing, and yeah, let's just get into the video. I got lots more videos coming up, so let's get into it. Okay, I literally like have this whole page of just like stuff. So it might, I'm trying, I'm gonna try to stay organized. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about are like, I don't know how to say it, but like materials for organization or just like things that have helped me stay organized since like elementary school and I'm a freshman in college slash should be a sophomore but I took a gap year. I will insert that into anything I possibly can. Anyways, um, the number one thing that I literally could not live without is a planner, like a paper planner thing. And this obsession probably started in elementary school when, you know, they would give you your planner. And then, at least at my elementary school, we had to bring our planner home and like get it signed every night, which was kind of insane now that I think about it. But it's just kind of what started my obsession. And now every year since then, um, starting in like high school, I bought my own planner, even though they still like gave us, you know, it's a whole thing. But I love my planner. The one that I currently have is just from Target. It was like 10 bucks. Like planners do not have to be expensive. You can even like Google search like planner page and like print it out every week if you want like it does not have to be expensive at all but and I love like color coordinating my planner with like different colors for different classes and it just helps my brain like see it all laid out and like know what I have to do for that week or that day and like when everything's due when I have appointments or when I'm supposed to upload a YouTube video or film it and literally anything that I'm planning on doing that week I write in my planner and if you don't necessarily like a planner or you think you're never gonna like open it up and look in it which obviously defeats the purpose of even having it just use your phone to keep track of stuff if you need like something else to like write it down um, I also have a calendar app on my phone which I don't use that much I just write down like my mostly my YouTube video schedule and like any major like appointments or like my work schedule to all like put insert into that planner so like and then it'll have a notification that reminds me oh tomorrow you have this or in an hour this starts and you can write down your assignments and like their due dates and it can remind you when it's due so yeah just something to like remind yourself of like what you have to do rather than just like trying to remember it all in your head <laughs> um, is definitely something that I highly recommend to staying organized and just like motivated and making sure that you're getting everything done um, this okay the next thing it's kind of like similar, but I also have this little like whiteboard calendar thing. I bought it for my dorm, um, but then when I moved back home, I put it up in my room and I use that mostly for like tests. So I like see, oh, on Friday this week I have a test, so I'm gonna like study these days or like whatever. Yeah, that's mostly what I use it for. Or if I have like advising appointments with my school or like mostly like school things I write on there. I love that because it's like, I am I can like look at it from here and like see what I have for my week. Right now it looks crazy because like I said, I'm on spring break and I literally like gave myself like one thing to do every single day of the week so I wouldn't get bored. Um, today's is filming this video. Okay, and then the last thing I'm gonna tell you guys about is a to-do list. Um, the one that I use is from a class I had in ninth grade. We were making our own notepads, so I was like, I'm gonna make a to-do list one, and I've used it all the time since then. Obviously not every day because it would be gone by now. But if I have like a weekend day, usually I use it on the weekends where I have a day where I have to get like a ton of stuff done, like certain assignments 
and then like also filming a video and or doing my laundry I don't know like it helps me on certain days when I have like so much to do and I feel so overwhelmed But then writing it down and like going through the list. It's like, okay, that's not that bad Like specific written to-do list for like just a specific day is also a big thing and you don't have to do all these things I do because I'm insane, but <laughs> you can just you know pick which method of keeping organized and keeping track of your stuff that you have to do works best for you moving on to like actual tips obviously you can write all these things down but then you know maybe you just don't want to do them and that's been me for a while now and it's basically me every day but you gotta eventually get up and do these things on your to-do list you can't just color code it and make it look pretty um, I'm gonna be reading out of my book for this one just so I like say these things correctly um, so my number one not my number one tip but like one of my tips is plan out what you're doing and when so like if I have a test on Thursday, I'll try to study like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday night, like just like within that week before then, if it's like a smaller test, if it's a bigger test, obviously I'll study like more than that, maybe, I don't know. But you know, that's just an example. It's not necessarily what you should do or what, I don't know, do whatever works best for you for studying. With specific assignments I do on specific days, like every week I get assigned this, um, a lab for my geography class. And every week on Tuesday after that class, I do it and get it done and it's done for the week and I literally get it done with like that first day that it's available so like I have like a little routine of like this is the day I get these certain things done because usually every week is like pretty much the same assignments just different content obviously so I have like specific days where like getting things done another thing is if you're like doing a bunch of work on a weekend day or just like any day honestly start with the hardest work first or at least like start that hard work like if you have an essay to write at least start your essay very first thing so you have like a beginning to it and you have your ideas laid out and you know what you're going to write it on and just like get a little bit of it started and then you know do maybe an easier assignment and then go back to it i would suggest just doing get the hard stuff out of the way so then the rest of the day you can just get like easy stuff that you know done and get all your assignments turned in <laughs> another thing that i love doing is cleaning out my backpack well i don't love doing this but and organizing it um like i have a front pouch on my backpack that holds all my pencils and pens and stuff and i like make sure that they're all in there and i clean out any garbage that i have in there from the week um just to make my backpack one less heavier if i have like something big in there that doesn't need to be in there and two organized so I know where to find everything. If I'm in class looking for a pencil, I know it's just right there. And yeah, it helps a lot. Um, and that'll help you stay motivated too. Cause if you're like unorganized and just like, uh, you're not gonna wanna do anything. Okay, so this next one is like pretty obvious, but when you're taking notes or when I'm taking notes, at least I, when I'm writing down like a definition of something, I'll have a highlighter with me and highlight that right away. Cause most of the time, if, if it's a word that they're giving you definition for, you obviously should, you have to know it. And so I know like, when I look back at my notes, oh, it's highlighted, that's important. And most of the time I'll go through after class and like highlight stuff, the stuff I think is important and that just helps with studying later on. So you can just go through your notes and like go over that highlighted stuff. And the next like tip is like so similar to the rest of the stuff I've been saying, but like I have a desk in my room and I know probably not everyone has that, but I do my, not a lot of my homework there, but I do some homework. Like if it's a weekend and I don't feel like going to campus or going somewhere to do work, I'll just do it there. And I love keeping it clean and organized. I used to have like so much decorations on it, but I took like a bunch of them off. So I just had room to lay out all my stuff because I needed it to lay out like textbooks and notebooks and then my laptop and all that stuff. So I just have a clean desk. Um, and then over the summer, I'll probably like put some decorations back up on it when I won't be doing as much work, but um, yeah. Another similar tip is to have, if you're gonna be working in your room or whatever space you're working in, um, if it's at your house, you want it, at least for me, I always like having it clean, like my bed made, so I'm not tempted to go lay down in bed when I'm like taking a break from my work or whatever. I just like to have my room clean, but just like picking up stuff on the ground and like whatever, so it's less distractions that way too. And like maybe keep your phone out of your room if you're trying to do work at home and stuff, which I don't really do, but it's probably helpful. So maybe you should do that. Okay, and then my last tip is um, to go through your school email and just clean out everything you don't need from it because my school email gets so like jam packed of just like random stuff that I don't need in there. And then I lose like, but I don't lose them, but like, you know, important emails get kind of like lost within those like junky emails. So I just go through like probably once a week and delete a bunch of emails that I just don't need and keep important ones, obviously. And yeah, that helps a lot with organization because that's what this video is about. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so moving on to the motivation part and like motivation tips that I have trying to 
give you motivation to do your work. I swear to God, I've drank a bubbler in like my last five videos, but I don't, what do you want me to do about it? They're really good. If I don't want to do my work and I'm just like, no thanks, don't want to do this, it's due tomorrow, I just don't want to do it. I like to think and like reward myself basically. So I'm like, okay, I don't want to do it, but if I do get it done, I'll reward myself with getting a coffee or like my favorite meal um, or just like something you've been wanting to buy from like Target or something, you know, like something small like a shirt or something like okay if I get all my work done today I'll treat myself to a target run tonight and just like go get a new shirt or something you know honestly it's probably like the best motivator because it's like you get something for doing work even even though you're like buying it yourself it's it's fun to go and spend money <laughs> and then my next motivation tip is to change up your study space for sure like I said I really can't do my best work at home there's just too many distractions and it's just hard so I love going to like the library or mostly I like going to the student center on my campus it's like nice to go there just sit by myself and get work done that's where I do a lot of my work on like Tuesdays and Thursdays because um, it's just a really nice area on campus and most campuses have like a student center, student union thing. Um, my last motivation tip is kind of like another reward. It's like a reward. Like getting a new laptop or iPad case can like really motivate you honestly. Like I love when I have like a new phone case on. I'm like, oh my God, look how cute it is or whatever. And I feel like the same thing can go for like your laptop that you use for school. If you get a new case, you kind of like want to use it more and like do stuff on it. Cause like look at my new case or like your iP if you use an iPad for school, get a new case for that or something. Or um, one thing I did back in like, I think it was honestly September or October. I got like a keyboard cover for my laptop and I just loved using like the keyboard then cause it was so cute and it's like cow print. I'm like, oh my God, look at my cow print keyboard. I'm gonna do work on it and like use it. Um, I feel like that can like subliminally, is that the right word? Help you wanna do stuff more without feeling like you're doing stuff. You're just like, you're using your new case or you're using your new keyboard cover, or, like a new wireless keyboard or whatever, <laughs> you know? It's just like, which I also got a wireless keyboard when I moved back home. Um, and that made me want to type more because it's like so satisfying to like type on it. I don't know. Those are just little weird motivation tips that I have and that have worked for me in the past. So hopefully they work for you. That might be obvious or maybe not, but there you go. <laughs> okay, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and maybe got some tips from it. Maybe everything I said was very obvious to you, but <laughs> hopefully you get something from this and good luck on the rest of the semester because I feel like we all need it. We all need some sort of motivation to get through. I'll see you guys next time for another video. Bye.